Right then, here we are. The Z Thou is in for service. Just had it 600 miles. So I'm at Kawasaki, dropping off Bristol Kawasaki. They're very kindly lending me their Z650. It's quite small, I'm going to say that. That's the first impression. Obviously, it's all standard, it's just their loan bike. Yeah, it's going to be fun. First impression straight off. I mean, this thing is narrow. This thing is. I can't imagine the fuel range is that great. But then there's only a 650, I suppose, so. You ain't gonna be doing. Masses. Oh my god. Alright, oh, and it sounds like a moped, so that's brilliant. Right, okay. So it's the Z650. Um, so it's obviously pretty much just my bike but the 650 version but they couldn't be any more different uh, obviously there's some bikes where the only difference is the engine size but apart from that pretty much identical uh, but yeah this feels completely different I've got to say though although this feels like a fucking a grom uh, the ride on it is lovely the suspension's very uh, obviously I suppose mine's a bit more sporty but this feels very forgiving, it's uh, very smooth. As you may have noticed, we've got a, uh, a, a new helmet position. I bought a new helmet uh, because obviously having a Z Thou, it's a little bit quicker and I kind of want something that cancels the noise, the, uh, the wind a little bit. So you're stuck to the side of my head at the moment, we'll see how that goes. I was kind of hoping they might have the, uh, the H2 as a lone bike, but no such luck. <laughs> that exhaust though, that sounds awesome. Alright, fuck it, I'm selling my bike and getting a 650. I mean, obviously compared to the Thal, it is a lot slower. Yeah, it feels great. It feels, if this was your first, say, big bike, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. I was kind of, uh, I did, it did cross my mind to say, look, do you want to give me a bit of a better bike? I do the YouTube, um, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you a bit of a, a bit, bit of promotion. But the thing is, people like Baron Von Grumble, who is probably, I'm not going to say the word hero, but I fucking definitely suck his dick. He gets, you know, 80 odd thousand views. So he can go to these places and say, look, I get 80 thousand views. Give me a bite for a day, you'll get some promotion. However, I don't think me turning up and being like, look, I can probably get you about seven views. They're probably gonna say, do you know what? Um, we'd probably reach more people if we drove through the center of Bristol with a fistful of uh, flyers and just threw them out the window. Oh, that fucking exhaust sounds lovely. It's just got a bit of a, a bit of anger to it. That sounds fucking lovely. And again, that ride, um, obviously going from the Harley to the Z Thou, uh, I did notice, obviously, that it was it was harder, which is fine. Uh, the the, the uh, suspension, I mean. Um, so, I feel like a right prick. S1000, one of my favorite bikes. And he sees me on this piece of shit. Oh, everyone's nodding at me. I bet they're all thinking, oh, look at that little, look at that little kid. Probably his first bike. Yeah, so I did notice that the suspension was a little bit harder. But going back onto this, I gotta say it's it's the ride is similar to the Harley in terms of how much the suspension gives. You go over a bump and there's that little bit of buffer, whereas the, the Zephal feels like you're having your prostate ripped out. You know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Some people are into that. The trouble with is though is it looks small, doesn't it? The bike I mean. Well, and my penis. Um, but the bike, it, just, it does have a small presence about it. It's very narrow. At least on the Zev Fowl, I, I feel like I've got something in between my legs. Which is a change for me. I do love the Bristol Kawasaki guys. Um, they've been very, very helpful. Uh, the guy, the manager, Steve, lovely bloke. I get the impression that he doesn't like me riding bike. It was quite hard to get a test ride out of him. Uh, Matt, I think his name is, the technician, had um, put me out a bike for, you know, for now, and Steve was like, "Nah, no, nah, take ten minutes, mate. You fucking, you stay here. You know, you don't, you don't need to take the bike out." So um, I don't think he likes me taking the bikes out. It's obvious because I look like a, like a yob.
The helmet I've got, I've gone for the AV, AG, AV, AGV, V, A, V, G, A, V, G, V, G, A, K3, uh, SV, which means it's got this, the sun visor in it, which is quite handy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's comfy. I, to be honest, the helmets I've had previously haven't been massively legal, so this one's quite, quite nice actually. It's, it's a safe helmet. It's got good visuals. All right, let's park it up here. It's not my bike. It's a rent bike. Where's the fucking stand? All right, then let's go get a, a bloody, uh, bloody Mackie D's. I'm now suitably fed and watered. I've got to be fair to it. It's not, it's not the worst looking bike, I suppose. Um, obviously you've got the green fla uh, frame, frame, flame, flame. You've got the green flame, flame. Oh, you wanker! You have the green frame. Obviously, which contrasts with the rest of the bike, which does look quite, quite sporty. Low exhaust type thing, which is quite cool. Uh, this is the best motorcycle review ever. Got a plastic bit. All right, let's head back to Quack. Oh, I got some interesting news whilst I was out. My, uh, my girlfriend, my, my partner, my, my fuck sack. Has uh, just just passed her exams to become a veterinary nurse. So congratulations! I'm very proud of you. Maybe now you can sort of contribute to the bills a little bit. That would be that would be nice. I tell you what, the fucking gearbox feels nicer than mine. Uh, I, I I that was a problem that I've had with the Z Thou. It's been very crunchy and it's gone into a false neutral. Um, I am told that's just it kind of bedding in. This gearbox does feel nice to be fair, so I guess it's it's plausible that it, it will get better. Yeah, this one feels a lot more positive. This bike would definitely be perfect if you were just pottering about uh, around town, around the cities and that. She's got a very wide gate. You can kind of, you feel like you can kind of just nip in and out. Which obviously you can kind of do on a Z Thou, but you know, if you miss, miss clutch out slightly or let the clutch out a bit too soon, you can fucking flip it. Whereas this one feels a bit more, a bit more forgiving for retards like myself. I am a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous that I'm going to go pick up my bike and they're just going to be like, nah, you fucked it, mate. Fucked it. I wouldn't bother having it back, mate. I think my urban brawlers have turned up. I'm hoping to install them tonight. Might do a separate video on that. Might not. Fucking see what happens in it. It's too small, but it's comfy. It's slow, but it sounds nice when you're revving. When you've got some revs. When you're up at about five grand. That's what you all the, all the bikers say. Yeah, about, about seven grand, mate. About seven grand, yeah? That sounds fucking sweet. Yeah, about ten grand then, mate. Oh, there's my bike. Ha <laughs> I bet he was like wheelie in it a minute ago. So there she is, back in her natural habitat. Let's go and have a, a little look see inside. At some point I've got to do it, I've got to get a Ducati 848. It's got the nicest rear end of any bike I've seen. Look at that, it's lovely. I kind of just stood talking to myself in the middle of the shop so I'm going to stop doing that and I will, if I've got battery, I'll update you. But I'm back on the Z Thou. She's back. Saying bye to the Z650, saying hello to the beast. They gave me a, a little bit of a wash. Well, they didn't give me a wash, they gave the bike a wash. They did suggest that I needed a wash, but. Uh, yeah, if you boys ever need anything, pop and see my lads, my, my boys, my cronies, my fucking little sexy little beasts. Uh, you come and see see Matt. He is the boy. I'm telling you, lovely lad, helpful, highly recommended. He said it's all fine though. They they slacked off the chain a little bit. Gear changes feel all right. See now, this is a fast bike, but don't get me wrong. It is still just a standard, you know, new thousand cc bike. I watched a video yesterday on the Ducati Super Allegra where you know there's guys who've been used to riding fucking real fast bikes and they seemed just blown away by this thing. And it does make you think how much quicker is it than, than this, you know, like 
The speed of this bike is you you have to hold on. Do you know what I mean? It's, there's not much. Um, you know, you are physically trying to hold on and stop the bike from fucking leaving you. So, how much quicker is one of these Ducati things going to be, you know? Maybe tell me in the, in the comments below, what's, what's, what's the fastest bike you've ridden? Uh, I don't know how much battery I'm going to have left on, on the old GoPro, so just in case it does fuck up, I'll say bye now. And uh, thank you for joining me. It's been emotional. Stay safe. If you make love, wear a glove. <laughs> He's fucking stalled it. He stalled it. What a prick. What a prick. Oh, what a prick. I only stalled it to uh, make for interesting viewing. What a bell end. Oh, for fuck's sake. It makes me happy where skies are grey. Oh, okay. <laughs>